Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on the channel today. We're back in the How to Tame series, the series where I'm going to show you how to tame every dino from beginning to end. It's going to be great. How are you all doing? Hopefully, you're doing fine. And today's episode, we're talking about the Parasaur. We've got a few Parasaurs lying around. And we're going to be taking on the power source for today and showing you how to tame one. Now, this is the utility dino for beginners. I love using power source at the beginning of games. I say, as I've got better with Ark, I don't really use them as much. But when I first started playing Ark, oh my god, I, this was one of the first tames. And I made sure I had a few of them. Utility dinos to the most. So, first of all, we'll show you what the how to tame a power saw and then what the power saws actually do. So, first of all, let's have a look at the inventory. This is what you're going to need real quick. Ideally, you would have needed to get to level 9, which gives you the bowler, which is the same level as getting the power saw saddle. Now, the bowler will keep the power saw in place because once you hit the power saw, it will run and you don't want that. So, there's the power saw saddle. That's how you make it. Fiber, hide and wood. And the bowler is fiber, hide, stone and thatch. So, at the beginning of the game, to get uh, hide, you want to just kill dodos is the easiest thing. The next thing that you're going to need is a wooden club, which is at level 8, which is level before. Or you could use a slingshot, but um, recommend using the club. But if you're a little bit more advanced than that, if you're up to level 21, so you can use the bow at level 10, and then at level 21, you get narcotic arrows, trank arrows, which you'll use for most of the tames. But it's the beginning of the game, so you probably won't have narcotic arrows. So make a few clubs. That's what I recommend right now. To tame a power saw, um, it's the same as the dodo, so it likes basic kibble. If you're at that stage where you've got kibble aside, you can make some basic kibble once again. Um, you, if you've already got the dodos, you could probably make some basic kibble by now to get that perfect tame, but you don't need to. It likes crops, which is the second most tame, um, and then mejo berries or normal berries. We're going to tame it with mejo berries today. Okay, um, so this is our parasaur. Parasaurs are passive creatures. They won't attack you, and you can go up to them, and that's fine. But as soon as you hit them, they'll start fleeing. So what you want to do is you want to get your bowler by clicking left click. Make sure it's on your hot bar. You click left click, and then you just chuck it. And it will trap this guy, which is awesome. And then you can start hitting it with the clubs. Now, it will break out eventually. There's a timer on this. So, we're going to hit it with these just to make it a little bit quicker. So, it's not going to take too many shots to knock this guy down with the trank arrows. But with the clubbing, it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, so, I do recemend bringing along three or so clubs. There we go. That guy's gone down. And make sure you bring multiple bowlers. Because if this guy breaks out the bowler, you want to chase it down and chuck a bowler at it again. Once it's knocked out, same as before. You got your torpor going down. If you if it gets too low, you can chuck some narcotic berries in or a um, narco berries in, sorry, or narcotic, and it will start shooting it back up. We're just going to tame it with the berries right now because you're probably going to do that with the berries. And this is at normal rate. I think this actually is times three rates, not normal rates, but there we go. That's going to tame up really quick. Once this is tamed, though, we'll show you why you want a parasol. Parasols are like super good. You need them parasols. And there we go. We've got our parasol. So. Let's chuck the saddle on, which you can make at the same time as you get the bowler. And we'll jump on right now. So this is the first rideable team that you'll probably get in Ark. Um, it's, su it's not super fast, but it's really good. So it's got a few abilities. It's got its right click, which is, or its left click, sorry, which is just a normal attack. That's what you'll probably be using the most. It also has a right click. So if we do this right now, it detects for enemies. And it will look for enemies, which will appear as a red dot. So this is good if you're just like going through the wild for the first time. You're not sure if there's a raptor around the corner. You can keep spamming this every now and again. And eventually, um, a red dot would appear if there's an enemy nearby. It will tell you if it's detected. So let's see. It's saying it's detected an enemy. There we go. Over there. There's probably a piranha in the lake right now. And that's what it's detected when you do this. Which is pretty cool, as you can see. So uh, really good for that. These can also do that uh, from here. So if you go to alert settings, you can keep it in your base and put it on turret mode. And this guy will constantly be looking for enemies. So if you're on PvP, put this guy in your base. It'll let you know when someone's coming up on your base, which is pretty cool. Um, what it also does is, with the left click, which is its attack button, you can pick up berries, which is awesome. You know how much easier this will be? The whole, like, trying to get narcotics from collecting bushes. As soon as you get one of these, look how easy it is to get narcotics. It could also hit trees and stuff, but it's not the best for that. But, I mean, at the beginning of the game, if you want some extra thatch... That is pretty good. I know this doesn't look like much, but this tame will help you so much. It's like, it's huge weight inventory for beginning of the game. You can store everything in here, and it's super fine. You can just take this anywhere. And that's why you need to tame yourself a power soil if you're starting out in Ark. This guy's amazing for collecting berries, and that means that you've got more berries to tame, more creatures. Um, it's not the best for attacking stuff, 
But that's why it's a utility dino. This guy can get you resources super early on in the game. If you didn't want to do that, you could. If you didn't want to use that guy, you could literally just go up to a tree or something with your axe or your pickaxe, start breaking it. Go back to it and transfer your inventory across to this guy. And he can just be like a weight holder for you. And then just get on it right to the next tree. Uh, this guy is super useful. I recommend getting it. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to me, who I'm a human being. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Now, bye.